I need to move your desk. Um, but what I just want to go through, ladies and gentlemen, is a couple two different parts. One thing, if we have x squared minus 4 equals 0, and I say solve, right? You add the 4 to the other side, and therefore you get x squared equals 4, right? Then to follow this, you need to take the square root. So now, when we introduce the square root, right? The square root wasn't there before. I introduced the square root. Now we have to make sure we account for positive and negative 2, right? Because x could be positive or negative 2 because the positive 2, because positive 2 squared gives me 4, and negative, or sorry, positive 2 squared minus 4 gives me 0, and negative 2 squared gives me 0, right? Right? Good. But then, if I just say, what is, if I just ask you, what is the square root of 4, and the square root of 4 is already in the problem, all we're going to be worried about is the positive solution. OK? All we're going to be worried about is the positive solution. So therefore, the square root of 4 is just going to be 2. We're not going to worry about both cases, but we're going to get a little bit into that in a second. All right? Good. So I wanted to at least explain that to you guys.